there are two things that joy produces in the life of a believer that i want to just touch on and then we'll pray number one according to nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 joy is the principal sponsor of the strength of a believer nehemiah chapter 8 please and verse 10 it says neither be ye sorry don't walk as if there is no hope it says for the joy of the lord is your strength please say that with me mina the joy of the lord is my strength one more time the joy of the lord is my strength it says neither be ye sorry that means there is a way out of that tragedy there is a way out of that situation and it says the joy your strength in this kingdom is the joy of the lord remember the bible testifies that if you turn aside in the day of battle the diagnosis is that your strength is small paul prayed a prayer and prayed that the believers be strengthened in their inner man and i'm showing you that one of the systems that make for strength is that you must be full of joy that the joy of the lord supplies strength what is strength the stamina the fortitude to remain until you win it's called strength but the people that do know their god the bible says they shall be strong there are times that the battles of life are not won overnight. It may take time. Oh, Abraham, you may need 25 years. Do you have the stamina to wait? If you cannot wait, you will always give birth to what will fight your promise. When your strength is weak, Ishmael will come and interrupt what Isaac should become and do. It takes strength. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait waiting is the hardest thing for a believer to do not praying not fasting waiting because five minutes to your breakthrough to still not look like it it takes stamina please listen to me it takes stamina to remain when your wife cannot take in after two three years all kinds of options begin to fly and when you go to god he will tell you what he told you before the marriage and act like he's not aware of what is happening it takes strength in the spirit to remain it takes strength in the spirit to remain when the ministry is not growing and having invested efforts and everything you're not getting the kind of result you should get you usually will feel like giving up but the joy of the Lord that is based on a revelation. Ah. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by not our deliverer i don't know what you believe in the bible says some trust in horses everybody cannot trust in the name of our god some trust in horses some chariots but for us and for me i know that though he slay me i will trust him i know that it is within his power to save me ah. say to those that are fearful hearted do not lose your faith the lord your god is strong and with his mighty hands when you call on his name he will come and save you he will come and save you he will come and save you say to the weary ones your god will surely come he will come and save you the bible already tells us that while we look not at the things that are seen that means the things that are seen can deceive they act like they will remain forever the poverty will act like it cannot go the challenge will let me tell you challenges are bold they have an audacity that intimidates there is something about god you need to sponsor your stamina while they stare at you 
Every challenge looks immovable until God comes. Please listen to me. The joy of the Lord is your strength. A man can be depressed. Have you seen lately the rate at which people literally, I mean, they depress themselves to death. They go to the hospital and they cannot find out what is wrong. And the person will tell you, I cannot think. I'm, I'm just depressed. Notice that the character of depression is that it brings you to a point of silence. Where you cannot talk, you cannot celebrate. The joy of the Lord, bringing strength and vitality. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this situation, but I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Bible speaks about scripture and says, all things that are written aforetime, please look at me, it said that they are for our learning, so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope. The meaning of that is that, there are times in your life where you do not know and you are not sure whether or not God can show up over that issue. The Bible tells you to make reference to scripture and check. Has God showed up for someone like that? If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then same God right now if he did it before he can do it again same God back then same God right now in the Bible God lifted men in the Bible God delivered men in the Bible people slept as prisoners and woke up as prime ministers in the bible women who were village girls within months became the wives of kings in the bible farmers became prophets in the bible prostitutes joined the lineage of jesus the bible says that these are archives to encourage you to sponsor joy so that if and when I do not know how my life is going and I cannot explain what is happening, I can check through scripture and say, I know God is faithful. Jehoshua, the God of my salvation, he will show up for me. And as bold as this challenge looks, I know that if I join to cry, listen, the moment there is weeping, God's power cannot come. It takes joy. Joy is a magnet. Listen to me. I know that it is human to cry, it is human to grieve, but it's a spirit that continues to drive breakthrough away from you. You must sustain an impartation that grants you the grace to smile through storms. You don't smile because things have changed. You smile and rejoice to change them. If you wait for things to change, for you to have joy, then they will never change. That's why it's called joy in the Holy Ghost. It is it, it, it's a possibility that comes from a dimension that is not normal for men to have. Please listen to what I tell you. I have seen this in my life and I've seen this even while I minister. That people who are sad and angry and frustrated and gloomy almost never receive. God has to find a way to prime their joy. And if it does not work, the anointing comes directly on them to laugh. Laugh, laugh away space for God to come and bless them. Because it, it seems as though the, their hearts are close towards the things of God. Joy is powerful. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The first thing joy does is to produce health and vitality it is true that when joy dries up you will be like the tree that has been cursed 